Welcome back to Open Line. I'm joined by Diane Dameron tonight, fitness and health coach, and she's got some great recipes idea, recipe ideas for us. And if you have any questions about swaps you can make in some of your favorite foods that you know probably really aren't that good for you and you'd like to make them healthier, Diane's great about substitutions, and, and we're going to prove that right now. First of all, let's take a look at your Fiesta Fish Taco recipe. You have a yeah. picture. I saw yeah. you, you're making me hungry looking at all this food, <laughs> and I just even ate dinner. So what is this one all about? Yeah, this, and we, I just did this on Talk of the Town, I so saw you can it, certainly yeah. go to Talk of the Town and, and look for, for the demo segment. Um, but basically it is, fish tacos a lot of times everything's fried mm -hmm. usually when you get mm -hmm. fish tacos. But this is my take. Um, I use cod and I just bake baked the cod um, and I'm using corn tortillas and actually if you use soft corn tortillas you will save up to 100 calories per taco really? over um, like your either fried corn tortillas or your white oh, flour yeah. tortillas. Huh. Um, and then I've just got some avocado and some um, queso fresco cheese and then I do a red cabbage slaw mm -hmm. um, and then I also did a black bean and corn salsa and it is so easy it's just black canned black beans canned tomatoes frozen corn kernels and then I just kind of garnish it with a little bit of that again that's some queso fresco which is like a crumbly Mexican cheese mm -hmm. And then some cilantro, and then the tortilla chips. Whenever you buy soft corn tortillas, you they come in like a pack of thirty for like right. two dollars. Yeah. So, so it's great. Um, just use some of those from the bag, and you cut them up into quarters. So you know, like you're cutting mm -hmm. a pizza. Pizza. Yeah. And you put them on a baking sheet and bake them for about. And what's great is the cod and the corn tortillas bake at the same temperature, same time. Oh, good. Four hundred for about ten to twelve minutes. Makes it easy. And the they get crispy. The if you just spray the corn tortillas with a little bit of just like cooking spray. Like olive oil cooking mm -hmm. spray. Mm -hmm. And then you can put some seasoning on it. I use the same seasoning that I use on the fish that I put on the tortilla Super chips. Super easy. And they'll keep like that. You put them in like an airtight container and they'll keep for several days. Now did you say you rolled that fish in anything or do you just bake yes, it as is? I did. I um, What I did was I just baked the um, I buy the frozen mm -hmm. fillets, and they're very easy because you can just pull them out whether you're cooking mm -hmm. for two or four. You just pull out one one fillet per person, and then I use a mix of cumin and smoked paprika. You could also use um, chili powder if you don't have the smoked paprika, and then a little bit of salt and pepper. And then again, just I spray the bottom of the the foil lined sheet yeah. with a little bit of cooking spray and then just bake them. And it, fish I think is a great addition, you know, in, in this New Year's resolution if right. you're trying it. Add fish mm -hmm. and I think that's great. Um, it's loaded with protein and if you're a little unsure about fish, baking is the way to go because it won't won't get this, the aroma of fish yes. in your house. If, if you do it on the, the stove top a lot of times, you know, you'll get that fishy smell. And, and cod is great because it's a flaky white fish and it's not too fishy of a right. fish. Some, some fish are more tame than right. others. If you yes. go straight in for the salmon, you are getting the fishy yeah. fish. This is more, I, I you know, I consider it the, the chicken side yes. of fish. <laughs> Tastes just like chicken. Yes. <laughs> yes. That, um, that looks like a marvelous recipe. I can tell you, you yeah. left some of it here after talking to the town, the salsa. Yeah. And I had some. I put it oh, on my good. salad that good. night yeah. and it was so yummy. Yes. I loved it. Yeah. It was great. It was a great little addition to yeah. salad. Okay, so we've got that one for you. Also, unfried ice cream. Yes. Really? With this, with this kind of um, Mexican theme that you're going with, um, <laughs> I did this actually a year or so ago with Leland on Tongue of the Town. Basically what you do is you create, I use just a light vanilla ice cream mm -hmm. or you can use frozen yogurt, just you don't want too many sugars, whatever you pick. Right. Um, and you pre-roll, pre-scoop them out, freeze them in little scoops. Oh, I gotcha, yeah. And then what you do is you roll them in um, just a low sugar, any type of cereal. You could use those Cheerios if yeah. you had those. I, I think that was maybe Bran Flakes, or you could use a Chex, mm -hmm. you know, again, just some type of a low sugar cereal and add some cinnamon and just roll that in it and that's where you get your crunch and put them back in the freezer and then when that's you go to idea. serve them you just um, blend up some strawberries I use frozen strawberries or you could use fresh strawberries yeah. with a little bit of water until you get a consistency of a strawberry syrup um, and there you've got it and just serve it in a cool you know little glass and it oh looks so boys festive. would love that oh and it's great kids love it and yeah. you know you can get, let them get their little hands on yeah. them and kind of roll them around and then just stick it you know you can make several of them at a time mm -hmm. and stick them in the freezer and keep them you know in little that's Baggies a great like idea. Yeah. Okay, Super Bowl is coming up. We love to eat yes. at Super Bowl parties. I like the eating more than I like the Super Bowl football. Yes. <laughs> so, and every, most. yes. <laughs> now, buffalo wings, not one of my favorites, but a lot of people do like yeah. them and it's a staple for Super yes. Bowl parties. Yeah. They are loaded with yeah. fat. 
unfortunately, wings are one of the worst things you can have when you're watching football. Not only because it's got the, the skin on, mm -hmm. but they deep fry them usually twice and then roll them in butter and hot sauce. So um, it, it's really basically just 10 buffalo wings have more fat and calories than an entire stick of butter. <gasps> Oh my goodness. So, so and you can go just, through town like that because yes, they're so little. Yeah, exactly. So what I say is make your own. Like if you're either going to a party or you're hosting a party, mm -hmm. make your own. Just whether you're using chicken thighs or chicken breasts and you can um, marinate them in some buff, um, either Greek yogurt or um, buttermilk if mm -hmm. you've got it. And then just load it up with hot sauce and bake them. Okay. And, and then you can use, I use the blue cheese sauce. I use Greek yogurt and blue cheese and then thin it out with a little bit of milk. And it's, nobody knows it. I've served that. Nobody knows the difference. No one said, are you trying to trick us? Yeah. No, <laughs> Where's the weird stuff? Yeah. Okay, that's a good tip. That's yes. a good tip. Yeah, we yeah. could do that one. Um, nachos. Now, this is one of my favorites. I love nachos. Yeah. Just in, in a platter of nachos has about 30 to 35 grams of saturated fat, which is about um, a half a cup of lard. <laughs> so, so, but what I use, and a lot of it usually comes from not only the deep fried chips, but also the refried beans, which, uh -huh. you know, it's, it, refried beans are loaded with with pig fat mm -hmm. usually. Um, so what you want to do is I just use like black beans or pinto beans instead of the refried beans um, and you know add lots of flavor with jalapenos and fresh salsa and things like that and again instead of the fried chips yeah, make, your, make own, your own the corn tortilla chips that, that we that I showed earlier. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's one way yes. around the nachos. Yeah, I'll yeah. try to keep that one in mind. All right. A lot of people also order <coughs> pizza for Super Bowl. Yes. So very good. How yeah. can we make that more healthy? Go thin crust as much as possible because the thicker the crust, you know, not only is it just the the ca calories yeah. from the crust, but then usually that allows more toppings mm -hmm. to come on. So um, go thin crust and always try to get as many veggies as possible. You know, even if you're having a frozen pizza, you know, make a frozen pizza and then add a bunch of fresh vegetables mm -hmm. on top. Um, and I always say anything in a link that is usually going to be worse than something that's like a crumb, like go Like with, a sausage link, right, that sort of thing. Right, pepperoni, mm -hmm. um, Italian sausages, things like that. So try to go maybe with ground beef or even ground turkey or ground chicken um, or just go meatless for that. Hmm for the pizza, mm -hmm. um, you know, you don't, you're not really going to miss it no. that much. If you, if you put enough other toppings on there, right. you don't miss it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, and, then, and go with the red sauce. Always go with the red sauce instead of the white sauce pizza. So don't go for like the Alfredo yes, pizza. Yes, right. Mm, heart attack on a pizza, right? <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, you said uh, go for the Canadian bacon rather than the pepperoni. Right. That goes back to yes. the whole link thing. Yeah. Um, a lot of people like the coleslaw or the creamy dips. Yes. And coleslaw, especially in the South, is loaded with mayo and usually has added sugar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So make your own. Um, I like to don't even use mayo. Just use a mix of a little bit of olive oil and either apple cider vinegar or red wine vinegar. Um, you can add some sweetness. I make I make mine with a mix of red and green cabbage, um, almonds, sliced almonds for crunch, and dried cranberries. Ooh. And then just mix that with again some extra virgin olive oil mm -hmm. and um, apple cider vinegar. Oh, and then I use um, thinly sliced green apples. Oh um, wow! To so add you have to it. more crunch, so, yeah. yeah. So it, it, that's it's a really good coleslaw, and again for a party, you know, you can leave it out, and you're not going to get that mayo. Right. Is it good? Issue. Is it not? Right. Should I right. eat it? Should I not? Yeah, right. Okay, the creamy dips, though. They're so good, yes. Diane. Yeah. <laughs> and just like I said with the blue cheese, whenever you can, substitute Greek yogurt for sour cream. Is it's it an equal loaded. substitution? Yeah. Okay. You, you might want to add, depending on the, the Greek yogurt that you, and you plain Greek yogurt, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want to get like vanilla flavored or blueberry or something right. like that. Just get plain Greek yogurt, um, and you may need to thin it out with a little bit of milk. Okay. If you need to, um, but that you can make anything with that. You can add some caramelized onions and make an onion dip. You could mm. add um, dill and you know yeah. have kind of a tzatziki sauce. Mm -hmm. If you're going Greek, you could add the blue cheese if you want to do that. Um, you could even add um, kind of. Um, mash up some avocado mm -hmm. and you can kind of have like an avocado cream Ooh, sauce yeah. um, which would be good on nachos or basically anything. Don't mess with my nachos <laughs> dining. Come on now. No, I'm just kidding. No, that does sound like a good substitution. Yeah. And also you can't go wrong with salsa. That's right. That's right. Any types of, you know, any kind of salsa. I, I'm a big fan of jar of salsa. Um, mm -hmm. Anything that you just want to make sure it's not added sugars. So, and you can get 
they've got some great salsas in the grocery store. Now. When you say avoid the added sugars, if I flip over that jar, what should I be looking for to know that there's, because there's going to be sugar in there, but how do I know there's not added, added sugar? sugar? Right. You just want to look for the ingredients, anything that has like a, whether it, if it says sugar mm -hmm. or anything with like a fruit toast, something mm -hmm. with a toast, okay. su sucralose, mm -hmm. any type of an os at the end is usually mm -hmm. going to be a sugar. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the uh, brews served along yes. Super Bowl, yeah. whether it be sodas or yeah. beers, how can we better do that? Yeah, light beer is is fine. Beers are okay, but you know, a lot of times a Super Bowl party goes from like noon until mm -hmm. you know 10 p.m. You right. just don't want to drink a six pack or 12 pack. I always say substitute, have a glass of water for every one drink you drink. Um, also, and if you're drinking sodas, sodas are loaded with high fructose corn syrup, which is actually worse than sugar. Um, I make my own brews, which you were talking about, with um, just a half and half of whether it's a fruit juice, you could go orange or, you know, you could go grape mm -hmm. or you could go apple, you know, pick a team color and then half um, just like a soda water. Okay. And you, get and a little you can sparkle. Get, right. And it's very, again, very inexpensive. You can get soda water, you know, at, for 99 cents, yeah. like for half gallon at the grocery store. And you could either, even if you don't use the soda water, you could use champagne for an mm -hmm. adult beverage or you could add, you know, if you went orange juice, you could add a little bit of vodka to it, you mm -hmm. know, to kind of make it an adult beverage. But, you know, a lot of times at a party, um, a super bar party, you might have like a signature drink, you know, sure. something from like a big gallon jug or, you know, mm -hmm. from a, a punch bowl or something like that. So that's kind of what, you know, make your make That's your a great drink. way to do it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Make it a little bit healthier. And because, you, you know, any type of, if you're at a bar or, you know, you're ordering something, usually if you're ordering like a margarita or some type of a mix, mixed drink, mm -hmm. it can be loaded with, you know, up to oh, 500 yeah. calories per. Yeah. So. Okay. On yeah. that note, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back to wrap things up.